In the UK, much of our infrastructure is decades old, built for the needs of another century. Exeter is no exception, a bustling city in the southwest undergoing unprecedented growth. This growth in population, however, can't be matched with more road capacity. In response, the Engage Smart Transport project was formed to help find new approaches to better fulfil Exeter's transport needs. The objectives of the project are to improve Exeter's quality of life through making better use of the infrastructure they already have from a transport perspective. Uh, and we'll be looking at actually building an end-to-end -end congestion management service in Exeter that will be taking broader into the market. The, the great advantage to us as a county council is that we, we have limited resources, limited expertise and limited funding to develop some of these more innovative solutions. This is clearly a, a great example where we've got some of the, the, the country and, and world's leading uh, technical experts who are coming together to identify some solutions using data analytics. Um, to develop a, a solution that will, will, will solve our, some of our challenges with, with managing congestion. We, we believe that the multidisciplinary approach is absolutely key to the success of any project like this. No one company has all of the skills in-house um, and it's becoming increasingly important to work with startups, to work with higher education, to work with commercial um, partners as, as well as public sector clients in collaboration in order to deliver all of those those key high-level skills into one project or program. I think it's really important that, that systems are interconnected and, and talk to each other. Uh, I think local authorities have got uh, a track record of, of delivering new infrastructure, so we will provide new stations, provide new bus routes, uh, we will provide uh, new cycle routes, but we, we don't necessarily know what or, or how, how aware people are of, of these things and how people are interacting with these. We provide this data, but often it's challenging. How do you get people to actually use these, these new facilities? And our approach is to recognise that there are going to be different groups in the population who travel to work or study in different ways, they have different motivations. And for each of those groups that we're going to identify through our survey, it's about having a conversation with those groups about what they think is the most effective way to reduce traffic congestion. So it's a collaborative approach, it's a co-productive approach, rather than being a top-down approach. So our innovation has been to say, how can we think about positive change? And the way that we've undertaken that recently at the university is to talk about knowledge co-production and campaign co-creation, working really intensively with people in particular areas to help them understand their own travel behaviour problems and help them come up with their own solutions. We believe that the industry can be a lot more agile through collaboration. So collaboration is it's about relationships and it's about objectives and outcomes for clients. Um, and what we really need to be looking to do is, is collaboratively, as an industry, um, flattening out those data standards, making data open, because the value in data is not just the data itself, it's what you can actually do with it. Um, and, and innovation comes from when you can actually play with the data and see what's happening that you might not have been able to see before. And, and, that, and that creates a new competitive landscape. And so what we're hoping here is that we'll actually develop a process of engaging with the local commuter in any location, be that in the UK or, or anywhere else internationally, and then actually go th deliver the same kind of benefits as that we're hoping to see from, from, for the Exeter Traveller. So essentially this is about building a framework for understanding travel behaviour, traffic congestion and transport problems and enabling other communities to take what we've done and apply it in their own setting.